grandpa Prince Harry has affectionately looked to Meghan to take the lead at joint engagements. A daunting Prince Harry has grown to look to the Duchess of Sussex and her natural social confidence to take the lead at royal engagements. A body language expert has suggested the Duke of Sussex, 35, and Meghan, 38, won the hearts of the nation on Monday as they greeted teenage girls in the township of Nyanga, South Africa, during the first day of the 10-day royal tour. The rousing display saw Meghan address crowds of local women and girls supported by the community charity Justice Desk outside Nyanga Arts Centre and also show off her flair for dance. Body expert Judy James has suggested that visit not only display the Duchess's authentic and natural demeanour but also ease with which the Prince has grown to see his wife take the lead at their royal engagements. He said the royals are famous for their rather awkward looking body language when asked to join in the more fun, spontaneous moments on world tours and all the royal princes are known for performing their own style of dad dancing that suggests a more introverted approach. Even the less formal and stuffy, Harry appears happier to draw on Meghan's social and performer confidence and hugely natural approach here on the first day of the tour. Meghan has always shown signs of being a very immersive role, looking genuinely keen and interested in all the people she meets, responding in a way that looks authentic and natural. As they walk up to the dancers here, Meghan and Harry are holding hands, but it's Meghan who drops the clasp to join in the clapping. The way Harry places a hand on her back suggests he's very comfortable, urging her to take the lead and delight the crowds. Harry's eye-checking endorses this lead role, and although he offers the affectionate tie sign of a back rub, it's Megan who stands happily poised to join in the dancing. She added that, as is usual on all their royal visits so far, it was Megan who looked more than happy to spend longer with the crowds here. Finally, it's Harry who seems to walk off, offering her a good-natured wave to move on, Judy said. During their visit, Megan was seen dancing hand-in-hand with a local dancer as husband Harry looked on with delight. The royal visit, which saw Harry and Megan make the first stop in Nyanga Township in the Cape Flats, where one in 206 people are killed each year, comes more than four months after the Duchess of Sussex gave birth to this couple's son, Archie Harrison Mountbatten Windsor. Dressing the crowds of young persons and women in the township, Megan, who donned a black and white wrap dress designed by Malawi fashion brand, Mimika said she felt humbled to be standing alongside the community. She said, may I just say that while I'm here with my husband, as a member of the royal family, I want you to know that for me, I'm here as your mom, as a wife, as a woman, as a woman of color, and as your sister. Coding the poet and civil rights activist Maya Angelou, uh, Megan continued, each time a woman stands up for herself without knowing and possibly without claiming it, she stands up for all women. Now, I know it's not easy, and I know that it must be insurmountable at times, but your commitment to what is right gives all of us hopes, especially your brothers and sisters here in your community who need to know to continue to shine your light brightly. Your commitment is inspiring, it's energizing, and it's extraordinary. You must keep going. You must know that what you're doing not only matters, it's vital because you're vital.